Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to There Swings a Skull, an RPG Maker horror game where your son is very angry and everyone's randomly combusting. I once dreamt. I threw my hand to Dolores' petunias. I got on the 640 train and rode it inland. Past fields of brown wheat and begonias and ambling sheep and jagged rocks and the blue of the ocean, which I have never seen. But that was then, and this is now. I don't dream no more. There swings a skull. Oh, awake at last, I see. Goodness, if you haven't been dragging your tuckus out of bed these past few weeks, you must have not been working hard enough before bed. You better not be going back to sleep. I'm awake. Bad dream? Something like that. Well, Get some oats and honey tea in you. You always feel better after you've eaten. Yeah. Yeah, I will. How's the week forecast? It's going to burn like boiling acid in the mouth of a screaming demon. That's how hot it is. There's going to be a cloud in the sky in the next hundred and six hours. Worry about brownies, unless the ACs are really cranked up. Mute him. Yeah, you should. No, 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 wait! My, oh my, aren't you looking strapping? You always say that. It's always true. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I haven't noticed you're trying to sweet talk me. Think I forget you're late for work? Not yet. Yes. Not worth chancing. Bye, hon. I'll be back at the usual time. Have a good day at work! Don't look too close. What? Did, did, did everyone be concerned? There's a... Hello? Maybe it's normal in this town. I mean... You never know. Can't judge over cultures. Town Hall. Haven't seen anyone come in or out of these doors since you've lived here. Some cultures, you know, eat spicy food and everyone's... ...have burnt corpses rambling in the street. There's that thing. PSA. Citizens of Peraldus are asked not to look at the sun. It is easily angered. Do we live in a very, very angry sun world? A lot of coffins. Pay the coffins no mind. A lot of gravestones, too. Why, hello, handsome. You're taking me in your big, strong arms, sweep me off my feet, and elope with me? 
My husband will probably take issue of that. Oh, stop, you're so bad. Just tell me you're not interested. I need to dance around the issue. I'm not interested. Gay. Oh, I cannot believe you. Never all my years have I had such brusque treatment. You really should stop tugging my heartstrings so. You're just gonna drop me like yesterday's high and simps. I can't help my raw sex appeal. Fancy a cig? Sure. It's a private one out, isn't it? It is. Like it was yesterday. The day before that. The day before that. It's really no shame, neither for you, nor me, nor my plants. They're doing quite well. Seems so. Got a light? Just stick your cigarette out into the sunlight. It's not enough to light on its own. Hey. Yes, my charming suitor. Take the cigarette back. If you insist. More for me. I'm going to stop smoking. Oh? A woman burned to death outside my apartment today. That nasty business. I've heard about having hiver and liver. Oh well. What can you do? What can you do? One day you're gonna come back. You ocean-bearing carriage of salt and silk. One day, you're gonna come back. And Piotr and I will leave this place. We won't turn our heads to look as Kirilda shrinks. To an off-orange speck in the distant yellow sands. So it's a sun gone supernova here. One day soon. I swear it. Be quiet, voices in the TV. Do we have a job? Do we just like go around patrolling? Maybe no one cares anymore. World's gonna end. Just live in your habits. Kind of repeat what you've always done. We are. I am. I've rescinded the earlier PSA. Cut it from your mind with a sharp blade. This again. Look at the sun. The source of all life. Our life. Without it, Pereldus would wither as an asphodel in winter. No prosperity, only suffering. Suffering as the one who authorized the earlier PSA now suffers. Have words from a man in the cold ground. They will listen when you show your goddamn face. Looks like people took praise of sun too strongly in this world. The sun is a heavenly father. It also torches us and lights us on fire. Masa. Honey, you're home. Have a good day at work? They're busy, as usual. <laughs> My husband cracking jokes. Are you sick? Just lightening the mood. The mood's plenty light now that you're home. Get much painting done today? You know, in between all the sun torching people alive? No, no, had some trouble getting the creep of blood flowing up late. Too hot. Too. Heh. <laughs> Too what? Never mind. Dear. Did you see one who knew on the walk home? No. Though I did get an unpleasant surprise. The mayor is piping up again. What? The speaker gal was chirped at me on my way back from the station. Oh. Oh, no. Don't worry. I'm sure that old bastard is just getting antsy. I would too, if I lived in a pipe a mile underground. Yes. I'm sure it's nothing. Hey. Come on now. I wasn't trying to upset you. Hmm. Look, it's hardly been a month since he took Anna Marie. I don't think he's looking for anyone new. I shouldn't have said anything. Let's just go to bed. Yeah, I guess it is. You missed a little bit of text there. 
That kind of happens sometimes when you're like clicking through. I don't dream no more. Awake at last, I see. Morning, Anna. Sleep well enough? Eventually. Had some trouble getting there. Seems a little too in sync. It took forever to fall asleep last night, too. I guess we are. Hope today's work is more fruitful for you than me. I'm not sure I do. Not sure I'm due? Anatoly. I'll mute him. Don't mute me. How do you know what we're saying? Everything alright? Honey, you've been working at the Terminus for a long time now. I can't recall exactly how long, but I do know you've never taken a break. Nope. Maybe today you... Have you ever thought about not going? Uh, just for a day. Of course I've thought about. Everyone thinks about from time to time. But I can't do it. Someone would notice. Dolores? Someone more than Dolores. Call it a feeling. Besides, they pay well. Why repent when the devil gives good benefits? I... Yes, of course, I'm sorry. I was just being ridiculous. You sure everything is alright? You worry too much, dear. Can you allow an artist to occasional flight of fancy? <laughs> Guess I can. See you later tonight, Anna. Love you. Love you too. Guess no one really cleans up the corpses anymore. Huh. Wait! <sighs> Do our sprites let you change, or am I just noticing? No, I don't think so. Age 48. one of our fellow employees with a broom. They were on a different roof last time. I have a feeling next time we see them, they're gonna be, like, toasted. Hmm. Is that a new corpse? Still warm. Yep, still warm. I wonder if it's the... person with the flowers over here. They did smoke, and we also went up with the other person that smoked. No, they're still alive. Why, hello, handsome. Here to whisk me away from this two-bit town at last, I see. I packed a suitcase. Just give me the word. I'll ask my husband. If he says I can love with you, I'll let you know. Oh, please, you're not interested, are you? Shouldn't tug my heartstrings so. I can't help my... Oh, I cannot believe you. Never in all my years have I had such brusque treatment. You really should stop leading a girl on. I'm just gonna toss her into the like weekend's daffodils. Hey, do... Fancy a cig? I'm all right, Dolores. You're energetic today, huh? Don't blame me. Blame the sun. Not only am I feeling particularly excitable, but my plans are clambering up the walls. If it may not be long before I do the same, you'll break a hip. Come off it. I'm as spry as I was in my teen years. Maybe spryer. Right. Say, so did you see anything on the way here? Like a burned corpse? Yes, actually. Nope. Or if I did, I've made a conscious effort to forget. Honey, I don't know if you know it, but I run the smoke shop out of the train station. I can't affect much. Well, I suppose not, but... There's no point in getting hung up on things. That'll just upset me. Things I can't control. Life's sure enough as is without worrying that the air's unfit to breathe or someone will bake me alive. But... What do you smell like ash? I... What? Ash. I'm holding a lit cigarette and you read about a dozen times as bad. It's nothing. You decide to start smoking again? It's nothing, I said. 
Look, I've got to get to my post. Sure, dear. We can chat more tomorrow. Interesting. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to interpret that. The sun is red orange blonde in the sky. It's bigger than it was yesterday. I'm certain. I'm losing it. Was it related to the weird... Zombie kind of hallucination? What? No mocking tone? I don't know how you'll end this story. There's a few ways you can go about it. And I'm curious which one the writer is going to take. Hmm. It's gone. I'm glad you're silent. I'm glad. But if that's so, then why do I feel so? Just post-work nerves. Relax, Anatoly. Nothing's the matter. We could be smelling like ash because we're passing by these bodies, too. Hmm. Hi, hon. All quiet on the home front? Unless you count the downstairs neighbors, which I, of course, prefer not to. Good. Well, not the downstairs neighbors. My work was quiet, too. Perhaps that's for the best, hmm? You know, this morning, I had the strangest feeling, as if the whole world was coming to an end. Do you still? It's hard to look out on the silent streets of Pereldis and imagine much lurking around the corners. Perhaps a few stray cats. If this is your way of guilting me and getting you to a kitten, it's not gonna work. I'll wear you down yet. I'm sure. And as for your concern, the town's been around for hundreds of years. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. But we are. What do you mean? Just kidding. Just a little joke. Hmm. I'll hold any, like, theories. I'll just wait till the ending. I, I, like I said, I have, like, little things cooking in my head, but I'm, I'm just gonna hold it, see how this ends. I don't think this is that long of a game. Now it's awfully late. Let's go to bed? Alright, hon. Bet it is. The flames come licking across the fields of blackened flesh. Deep below a man sits in the only place of cool, get to the slow, peaceful death, while the rest of us burn like matches. Who is to blame? Us? Him? Or something? More? Hmm. Viorta, were you talking in your sleep last night? See, they're not here. So this will, this will end one of two ways. So we'll see what happens. Piotr. I don't think it's grocery day. Maybe you left me a note. Sketchbook 11399? Hmm. Painting. Dream. Egghead? I'm such an egghead. Don't go, darling. Well, these look like they're updated and new. Uh-oh. Here comes the sun. Be glad. God is here. Jesus Christ. My, oh my, it's getting... Fucking hot! Don't wear anything flammable. Okay. Yeah, so my thing was they either purposely went to the sun because they just, you know, they wanted to give up. Or they've been dead to the sun and we've just been talking to someone basically non-existent. Because the big key to me was the, uh, you smell like ash thing, and I think that's a very curious dialogue. Like, there's no one here. So I thought maybe that they already, you know, like, died a long time ago to the sun. 
You owe your community for raising you. For all its issues and problems and quirks, it is your home. I hope we were done with this. If it asks you to pay, pay. If it asks you to leave, leave. If it asks you to carry a rifle, carry a rifle. So it should be no different to die for your community. Yes. Once we had the means to stop all this, but I have burned the paperwork to wrap my tobacco. We remembered to bring much down here, but no rolling papers. We must make do. Remember, I sacrifice, so it isn't justified to do so in turn. Yeah, so the cleanup corpse is down here now. Excuse me, did a man come by? Bald. Paint splatter blouse. Shut up, look like I got time for small talk. Didn't mean to offend you. Offend? It was time to be offended. It was time for conversation. Do you know that the mayor's office hasn't increased funding to my department in 50 years? How am I supposed to clean all this all alone? I suppose he explains the mess outside my window. Yeah, yeah, I'll get to it when I get to it, alright? Or not. Then one moment, then gone the next. There's something in the air. Well, Dolores is still here. Why, hi, my beautiful handsome man, you. I hope you're finally ready to marry me. I've certainly waited long enough. I... Oh, I can tell you're not interested. You're not interested, are you? Right. It's cruel to lead a girl on. Dolores, my oh my, what a rude bastard you are. Never had a man treat me like filth under his boots. Even my ex-husband did me more of a kindness than you did, you fucker. Dolores, what the hell are you talking about? Fancy a sick? What? No. Hey, my plants caught fire and burned to ash this morning. Isn't that just the wildest thing? And they aren't the only ones. Oh me oh my, but I should hope the mayor has everything under control. <laughs> you know, I've lived in this town for ages. And all this isn't new. It's actually happened quite a few times. A few years ago, most of the town burned to death in a fire. So large it blotted out the sun. and turned the sky ash black. It was like living in a crater in the deepest pits of hell. So deep you forgot hope. You forgot your dreams. You just want... Pray that all the swollen flames ate someone who wasn't you. Dolores, I need to get to my... Your store! Of course, how rude. How rude of me, how rude of me, how rude of me, how rude of me. Go! Get out of here! It's the end of the world as we know it. on the roads out of town swallowed up my producer's car an hour ago. No way out now. Hope you've got some way to keep cool. Goodbye, buddy. Come on, you bastard. Deliver us. I said deliver us! God damn you! I don't know how much time we've got left. Looks like we're almost to the end. Quite literally. Any words? Yeah, there you are. They are burning. The mayor's office denies responsibility. The other option is that you start to smell like ash just before you're about to burn. Of course, maybe no one's burning. Maybe it's all like a dream. Piotr, you're here. Of course, honey, why wouldn't I be? This morning, a walk. I went on a walk. Usually you leave a note. I'm sorry I didn't today. It's... Have you felt alright lately? Of course. Why wouldn't I? You... Sure? Of course. You don't sound right. Well, I assure you I am. Let's go to bed. You've clearly had a long day. Bed? It's only six. So what? 
Fine. Sure, let's go to bed. Biota rose and went somewhere during the night. He'd never done it before. I wanted to call out. I wanted to stop him. But the thought of breaking the familiar silence of the night was more terrifying than his departure ever could have been. Yep, this is the end. No response. It's trolls are fused mass of plastic and wire. Let's do a full walk through the town. Take the long way around. See the burning. Well, actually, I had to take a long way around. Our previous path was on fire. Hmm. Even the little park is burning. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. The time swings soon. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Or all will burn. Dolores will probably be dead. I think that's pretty much a guarantee. Well, I think everyone's dead. I think that's a guarantee, too. But they won't even be here. Oh, there goes Defa Media. You did not want to go here. Do I? I should see Dolores before I start work. Okay, Dolores, you've worn me down. Let's make it a runaway wedding. <laughs> I count my raw. I can't. I need to open my store. Hello, sir. Take it. Why, I'd be delighted. Here at Pearl Disterminus, we serve only those who really need to get away. And you look like the type. To coasts, oceans, deep seas... B beyond. We help people finally see that there is an ocean beyond the waves. You got a ticket for the train. I'll need to deliver this one to the platform. Someone's about to miss her train. Looks like everyone missed their train. Your, your ticket, sir. You gave a ticket to the corpse. Good job. Looks like everyone made, like, one last run. Time to go home. I'm sure Piotr is... is waiting. So if we take this story as a literal... Literally, everyone either just burnt up, uh... were on the process of burning up, or they were just repeating their lives. Like a pattern. So, like, Dolores and, um, our protag here... They would always do, like, the same bants every morning. Same little, like, skit. It was almost word for word exactly the same. Maybe sometimes slightly different. That's about it. And then we're going to a train station for a train that no longer runs. You owe your community for your livelihood, your job, your place of belonging. Giving back is not such a big step. To hang shall placate the flames. Denies the secure and inevitable annihilation in hungry fire. Of course, the flames will return. You will stop the heat for but a while. 
But surely it is worth it, isn't it? Do as you're told. Burn together. There swings a skull. Music by Leaflet. Dialogue writing voice work and sound effects by Corner Walsh. Linger while on the calm. Graphics level design world building by Quinn K. Take it. Now, let's see if there's a never ending. You owe your community for your livelihood, your job, your place of belonging. Giving back is not such a big step. To hang shall placate the flames. To deny is to secure the inevitable annihilation and hungry fire. Of course, the flames will return. You will stop the heat. For but a while. But surely it is worth it, isn't it? Do as you're told this time. I mean, this is the the canon ending going by, like the tiles drop and everything. In the even in the art in the journal. There's that angry son. He is pleased. Oh look, we're, we're Dolores now on the epilogue screen. Dolly? I wonder if that even matters. Or maybe they just chose a random character. So that's it for There Swings a Skull. So I'm gonna assume this story is literal. Like there is like a son coming down, there is kind of a, it's kind of the end of the world and stuff like that. It seems like there is metaphorical parts, and it's it's a little tricky to figure out where the metaphor, where the symbolic things happen, and what's real. Big one, obviously, is the ending where the sun has a little giant eye, and then it either closes its eye or opens up, up even wider and just burns everything, depending what you do at the end. The design is consistent with what is in the diary, so we can either take it as, oh, it's just something we wish would happen, because like we did this kind of sacrifice at the end, or it is a giant literal son of a giant eye that is coming down and is very angry. There's a possibility. It, they never quite say like, oh, this is the earth or anything. It could be there's an angry sun god, or it could just be representational of, once again, like all the humans are dead. So nothing can even observe the sun anyways. It just it closes its eyes. For the most part though, the story is just a vehicle for routine. So everyone does their routine. They say the same things every day almost, the same bands, the same jobs, even though the jobs are useless now, no one's really buying or doing anything. It's the end of the world. Because that's all they've got left. All they've got is routine, and at some point, the sun will come for them and they combust. So overall, basically an overall just kind of sad, depressive game. I think it's shown best with the pro tag and the, um, not quite a co-worker, but just, you know, the person who runs the booth next to them. Because they go for a lot of the routine. I think it's slightly weaker with the, the protag and their uh, spouse. Because we don't spend enough time with them enough to um, kind of establish our relationship fully as being very... Something, you know, like lovey-dovey. We get a little, like, glimpse of it. Maybe a couple scenes, but they're in a very minority of the game. And then we get one good scene of the diary. So, the game is already slow-paced, so it's a little bit tricky to add more. And it is part of a game jam. But I would have liked to seen like, maybe a couple more scenes with our main couple, just to like really kind of sink in that despair, because the transition's fairly quick right there. But yeah, anyway, so if you go off and watch you play There Swings a Skull, I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.